So you're going out on a date and you don't know what to wear. No worries, I'm going to show you three outfit ideas that'll be perfect for any date night. Hey, my name is Cherie and welcome to my fashion and style channel. I know that finding an outfit for a date can be very challenging. If it's a first date, you want to make the right impressions. If you guys have been dating for some time, you probably still want to look, you know, cute and sexy for your person. And if you guys have been together for a long time, yeah, okay, fine. They probably don't care what you look like, but still, you want to be cute. <laughs> So I'm going to show you three outfit ideas that I think will be perfect for any date night and you're going to be very sexy, very cute, very confident when you wear these outfits. So let's talk about the first one. So the first outfit I already have on, it is this hot pink off the shoulder sweater dress. So I really like the idea of wearing my shoulders out when I go on dates only because I don't want to show too much skin but you know clavicle can be sexy too <laughs> so I'm wearing this dress with a pair of sparkly purple pumps now that may not be for everyone you can throw on some boots maybe some over the knee boots you can throw on some sandals depending on your climate of course and I'm also wearing it with a cute little black bag. I accessorized the dress with a pair of earrings, simple gold earrings, and I threw on a ring. Um, I'm not really an accessories person. I would like to get into wearing more accessories. That's something that's like in the back of my mind. I'm like, I do have clothes, but I don't have a lot of like shoes and bags and jewelry, things of that nature. So if you like to accessorize more than I do, definitely throw on some more rings. I love when I see people with a bunch of rings on, a bunch of bracelets, but very dainty, simple pieces that don't look like, you know, you're cluttering up your hand or you're cluttering up your arms. So there are definitely other ways that you can accessorize your dress. As for the dress, I got it from H&M maybe two years ago, but if you are looking for something similar, I will give you a few options. You don't wanna go for like your regular old sweater dress. Try to look for sweater dresses that have an element of sexy to it. So by the shoulders being exposed to me, that's a little bit more on the sexy side. I wouldn't wear this dress to work, right? But I would wear it on a date. So let me show you the second outfit. So the second outfit is definitely giving date night vibes. It's definitely a very sexy situation, right? And it is, again, another off the shoulder, one sleeve maxi dress. I think I just realized something about my personal style, which is amazing because that's the whole point of me doing these videos is to just play around with fashion, play around with styling my outfits and just discovering what works best for me and how I like to feel in my clothing. So I think I am correlating sexiness with clavicle. <laughs> Because the first outfit, it was an off-the-shoulder clavicle moment, and here I am again. <laughs> so this dress is from J Lux Label. Honestly, I've had this dress whew, three, four years, somewhere around there. So I know it's not in stock anymore, but J Lux Label is really known for their very sexy but simple outfits. So I'm going to give you a few more options because I know for sure this dress probably won't be available to you. I really love this dress, one, because it's off the shoulder. I love the fact that the dress only has one sleeve. It makes it more interesting. Also, the sleeve is ruched. The entire dress is ruched. It also has a nice split in the back. And I paired this dress with the same bag that I used in the first outfit because you know, I don't have accessories like that. But of course, you may accessorize it in different ways. I'm wearing a chunky platform leopard shoe with a black mini bag, but metallics are in right now, so you can easily throw on a metallic heel or a metallic boot and get like a nice slouchy metallic 
clutch type of bag that the ones that you can hold up in your arms and it's super simple that would look so cute gold jewelry next outfit you guys i had to put my hair up because i was burning up Ooh, it's hot so this third outfit is a beautiful satin olive green midi dress i absolutely love satin dresses i feel like they're appropriate for any weather depending on how you wear it in this case i'm wearing the dress where it's a little bit more appropriate for colder months so the green satin mini dress is from forever 21 i will also give you some other options all of the options are going to be down in the description box so that you can connect right to the website. I also paired it with a brown mesh long sleeve top. Being that it's a little bit cold outside, I obviously wouldn't wear just the dress. So adding some sleeves to the dress made it feel more weather appropriate. And to top it off, I have my brown shoulder bag and my favorite snakeskin brown boots. I think this outfit is perfect for date night. Imagine wearing like a bunch of rings. I, I, I just love a hand with a lot of rings on it. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. If that's not your thing, it's not your thing, right? But me personally, I would just love not anything big and chunky, but I just like simplicity on the hands, but a lot of it. <laughs> Now, being that you have on the mesh top, you can wear the necklace underneath the mesh or you can wear it over the mesh. It's completely up to you. I like the idea of it kind of being behind the mesh just to be like, oh, what is that? Like, I know she has on a shirt, but oh, it's a necklace. Oh, that is so cute. Like, it just brings a little bit more interest to the outfit. So let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite. Would you consider wearing any of these on your upcoming date night? Also, if you're interested in fashion and style videos, check out one of these and I will see you in my next one. Peace.